Oh, 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 guys, something just arrived. Yes, something we've been waiting for. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh oh. Um, no, I'm healthy. Guys, something just arrived. Um, and I can't wait to show you what it is. It's here. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Aussie puppy chow. Yes. So guys, this here is for Sahara. Um, it's a brand we wanted to try out because um, as you know, Cypher was on Origin. It's a great product, amazing ingredients. The only thing is it's labeled as grain-free. Now, after looking up grain-free and even a lot of your comments, you guys said that grain-free diets in dogs have been known to cause heart problems. So I'm like, okay, so let's start feeding rice to our dogs. And um, in terms of Sahara, since Cypher is no longer eating the puppy version because he's an adult now we figured hey let's give Sahara her own puppy chow um, because puppies have different nutritional requirements than adult dogs so yeah we got this and it's not grain free but it is organic and it's supposed to be a really really great dog chow dog pellet so let's hope Sahara likes it so guys good morning Cypher is still sleeping usually they wake up at the same time but Cypher prefers to sleep in today for some reason and Sahara is awake so this is an opportunity to introduce her to her her first bone. This here is a, an antler. It's sold for dogs and it's safer obviously than bones because bones are dangerous for dogs unless you feed them raw. But cooked bones can cause splinters in the digestive tract of uh, dogs. But these antlers are like super tough. They're, they're made of like iron, not literally, but they are harder to break down like bones. And so they make great chew toys. This is the first time she's reacting to this. Let's see here. Instant love. Dogs and bones really go together well. Isn't that cool? It's a real antler, I guess from a deer, an elk. I think an elk, but we bought this for Cypher when we first got Cypher and he loved it. Like this is one of the toys Cypher does not get tired of chewing. We've had to remove it from the picture though because Cypher and Sahara would quarrel over this. But now that your brother's sleeping, you can enjoy your first bone. Yes! Do you like it? It's seriously so hard to break. Like even pieces of it, it's hard to break off. Alright guys, mm. this comes to us from Marizel's Lumpiang Ubod at Ibapa. Guys, look at how heavenly this is. Mm. I can't wait to try this salmon. It's got a beautiful breading. And this here is shrimp with like corn and mussels. Mmm. Guys, let's eat. Morning, Heinz. Morning. Yes, here's Heinz. This looks really good and healthy, not to mention. So let's eat. Let's start. Good morning, Ate Elsie. Here's Ate Elsie. Yes. All right, guys, let's try this salmon. Do you guys like salmon? Okay, guys, open, open. There's like vegetables there i like to eat it with the skin because that's like i heard a lot of vitamins and stuff are in the skin yeah. the healthy fats and stuff yeah. mm. 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 they use a mayonnaise for the topping mm. and like a burned cheese or something mm. you guys want mussels here eat 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 yeah mm. so good i love seafood the ocean has so much good food i like feeding you guys <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm. Guys, when we move to the new Mambo High Spot farmhouse, do you think we should start a new mukbang channel? I'm thinking of just having videos where I'm eating an entire meal and literally just letting the camera run and talking to you guys for the whole video. Like literally appetizer, main course meal and dessert. I'll eat it all for you. There are many benefits to mukbangs. People watch it for different reasons. Some I understand watch it because, well, they want to see food. They want to learn more about food. So like there's an education um, angle to mukbangs. And then there are some people who watch it strangely because it helps them feel full. 
watching another person eat. One of you commented the other day saying, because of your health condition, there are many foods you aren't able to eat that are on the no-no list for you, but it somehow helps you feel full or satisfied watching me eat. So I'm like, okay, I'll eat with you guys. So um, whatever your reason for watching mukbang, I am thinking of starting a new mukbang channel. Now people do mukbangs in different styles. Some eat quietly, like just mm, mm. You hear like eating sounds, that's it. Or some do it talking, like there's a conversation mukbang. What do you think you guys would be more into? Let me know, just curious. Mm. And another thing people do for the mukbangs is the ASMR element. So there will be a really high quality mic. So you can hear the crunches, you can hear the slurps, all of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. See this guys? You know what this is? It's a very big canvas. You know why we have a canvas? Guys, RJ bought the whole setup. There's a stand, canvas, we have some new paint. I've even got my trusty palette to mix colors. Because guys, I'm gonna try painting. <laughs> I'm gonna try to revive an old skill that I had. When I was young, I drew a lot. Almost as much as I did music, actually. And all my teachers thought I would grow up to become a visual artist, but I ended up stopping it. Like, I, in high school, something happened. I guess I saw the Backstreet Boys and in sync and I was like I want to be a singer so I stopped doing art and I uh, started to do music but Ed Mark bought me this canvas because we were talking about art and I was like you know I used to do some art and then he was like okay paint me something so I'm like okay <laughs> So I'm going to work on a painting that I will be giving to Edmark. And I already have in my mind something that I would like to paint and give to Edmark specifically. I think it would be really cool. And truth is, I've never painted. <laughs> I mean, I think I have when I was young, but growing up, I was mostly a sketcher, like a drawer. And I mean, I dabbled in pastels, but not so much paint. So this will be like my first time and it's fun, right? I mean, we're in lockdown. There's no better time than now to like start a hobby a new hobby, right? Right and we guys and we should always try new things You never know anyways here. I'm gonna start. Thank you at the LC Yes, so I've got a desk here to put my paints so I don't make too much of a mess. Yay Look at all of this stuff. Okay, so I've got yellow blue. I think right Oh, Beth, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at all these colors. Oops. Look at this paintbrush set. Wow. Oh, it looks so nice. I think I'm gonna channel my Bob Ross. Hey. Okay guys, so here's the plan. I'm going to first draw my guidelines using a pencil. I've never done that. I don't know if that's how artists start, but that's how I'm gonna start because I'm used, I'm a drawer, not a painter, but I'm just, I'm afraid to touch the pencil on the canvas. I'm like, and like, I don't even know if this is the right angle. Like, should it be? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm easy. Okay. I can't do this while you guys are watching. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, there, very loosely, is the outline. You probably can't tell what it is yet. But I'm, this is really going to be a test. I have another canvas. Um, I don't want you to see it right now because it's just like the spirit of the painting. <laughs> I'm just gonna try it guys, here we go. Okay, seriously, how do I do this? Okay, I've never had to do this before. Do I just, it's not even viscous, OMG. Am I supposed to have a spatula or something? I don't even know guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't even know how to mix colors. Like painting is a different art form all together. It really is. This, I squeezed a little bit of yellow there. Okay, and try a little green. Gosh, what am I doing? I need to open this. Joy artists, hashtag not sponsored paint brushes. Guys, I love starting new things, right? It's good for the spirit. Keeps the brain working. Okay, seriously. <laughs> Good job. Guys, the camera fell and Heinz caught it with his foot. <laughs> Reflexes of a cat. Guys, I'm like all flustered. Look, I'm sweating. Who would have thought that art was so physically intensive? Okay guys, let's try. I hope I'm not making a mistake. I mean, there are no mistakes, right? Here we go. Guys, this is so fun. I should have just done like abstract art because then there really is no mistakes. Oh, it's so yellow. Oh my. Okay, I'm not sure how this will look. It's so yellow. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have done it so yellow. 
sorry, no offense to the color yellow, but... Okay, that's, that's all the yellow I need in life right now. Um, no more yellow. Okay, this is not even. Oh no, and you can see my... You can kind of see my pencil marks. This is not what artists do. Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna go... Oh, oh my gosh, I stuck my finger in the, in the paint... In the paint bottle! What am I doing? Okay, maybe maybe this is a sign. I should just go like this and use my finger. You're not supposed to talk a lot. Uh, I can talk. Bob Ross talks. Thank you. <laughs> it's intense. I need to learn to be like Bob Ross, guys. Very relaxed. Not intense. Honestly, this is the most intense like I've ever been in a while. <sighs> okay, let's start over. Um, let's go with tried, tested, and true black. I'm gonna use a new paintbrush. There's even a paintbrush that came with the paint. Why don't I try using this? Okay, let's just use black. Here we go. Um, let's... Oh, it's so black. Oh my gosh, it looks awesome though, actually. Seeing two colors side by side. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Well, that looks different. Okay. Oh my, I'm actually kind of happy with that. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Guys, isn't it fun just like just doing new things? It's like you discover things you never knew you could do. You know what I'm saying? Do any of you guys paint? I'm probably doing this so wrong. Normally when I pick up new skills, I buy a dummy's guide so that I could like, you know, learn the theory. Oh, whoops. Did I do that right? Oops. Was that what I was gonna do? Um, okay, uh, hold on. Guys, this will all make sense soon. You'll be like, why is he using yellow? Why is he using black? You will see. Can you guess what I'm doing? Can you guys guess? Oh, wow. Okay, um, painting that. Oh, okay. It's really working, guys. This is working out, surprisingly. Okay, let's try the other side. Who would have thought the cheap paintbrush would have been easier to do my thing with? Do the other side. Oh my, guys, I'm so, I'm actually liking this. I mean, it might look like crap when it's all done, but Hey, at least we're learning, right? You can learn through crap. Crap is a great way to learn. You know, art is really something else. You have to have a good eye. You have to have a good eye for color, for texture, right? Like from my understanding, Michelangelo used, and Leonardo da Vinci used to study human anatomy. I mean, if we're talking about Leonardo da Vinci, that guy is called a multi-potentialite. He was like a scientist. He was a linguist, he was everything, not just a, an artist. So he was able to put all of his, of his acquired expertise and knowledge into whatever he did. Like whether he made paintings, he knew about the science of the hand and the anatomy of the hand because he had studied anatomy. Okay, not too sure how I like that, but... Can you draw a cipher Sahara? I could try, RJ wants me to draw a cipher Sahara. I've never tried, but... It looks like it would be hard. I would need to look off a picture, that's for sure. All I gotta do is pretend my paintbrush is the pencil. Like, I'm just so used to doing art from a pencil, but really, I just need to pretend the paintbrush is the pencil, and then it can kind of come together. Okay, so now, I need to go back to yellow, guys. I gotta be oh so gentle with my paintbrush. It's gotta be, it's gotta be made with love. Every stroke must be made with love. Because without love, there is no universe yet. Edmark, if you're watching, I hope you like this. Seriously, I'm putting my whole mind, body, and spirit into this painting. In fact, if I really like it, I'll probably keep it. Just kidding. So my boy squad, I'm just gonna work on this little by little every day until it's done. I don't think I'll be able to finish this by today, but slowly the painting will come together. You guys wanna see it? Okay, now before I show you guys what I've worked on so far, let's do a positive affirmation for Saturday, March the 27th. I easily flow with change. I am always going in the best direction. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation from our psychic calendar here. Flowing with change. Did we not try something new, this painting whole ordeal? All right, but flow with change, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. Okay, guys, don't laugh. It's not complete, but I'll show you the work that I've done so far, okay? And you tell me what you guys think. Here it is. Ta-da-da-da! -da -da -da!